Chinese woman saved children's lives. Hey, we're talking with the not-for-profit group Feed My Starving Children about their efforts to help kids around the world and why they need your help, especially right now. It's coming up right after the break. Well, hey everybody, we got a lot going on here. You know, most of the time when we come into the Fox 9 kitchen, an area chef teaches us how to make some tasty recipe. This morning's guest is showing us how to save millions of lives and she really needs your help. Let's say good morning to Anna Guntless Bergen of Feed My Starving Children, a Twin Cities based non for profit that feeds starving kids all around the world. And obviously, you have a lot of special friends with you today. Yes, we do. Good morning, guys. All right, let's talk about Feed My Starving Children, a very popular charity. A lot of people have heard of it, but what exactly? is Feed My Starving Children. What do you guys do? Yes, Feed My Starving Children is a um, nonprofit Christian organization and we package nutritious meals and send them to children um, in nearly 70 countries all around the world. Wow, and you're here today because you need extra help. This is this is dependent on volunteers. It is. Why, why the extra help now? Sure, well we um, pack meals 100% by volunteers and we always um, need more help. And right now, at, when we're coming into September, people are kind of finishing up their last minute summer things. They're heading into those um, vacations. They're getting ready for back to school. And so we uh, a lot of times see a little bit of a drop in our volunteers. And right now, um, in our three different locations in Minnesota, we could use about 100 more volunteers per day to help us meet our goals. And real quick, what are those three locations? Uh, we have our headquarters in Coon Rapids. We also have a site in Chanhassen and Egan. All right. Now, you th this is pretty simple, right? Almost anybody can do it? It's super simple. Walk me through the steps here. Yep. So um, in order to be a volunteer, you have to be five years old. Oh. You go into our registration system online at fmsc.org slash volunteer. Sign up uh, 48 hours in advance. And then um, once you get signed up, you're going to come in, you'll get an orientation, you're going to find out um, all the different steps you need to do. And here we have our little packing line. The first ingredient that goes in is a scoop of, uh, it's a chicken powder, chicken flavored powder, and it has about 20 different vitamins and minerals Beautiful. right into that powder. So these are really nutrient packed they meals. Are. Yep. I mean, they serve a real big purpose. Yep, they're for malnourished and starving children. So we, we make sure that they're getting just the right ingredients that they need. And what's in the next bowl? The next bowl is um, a dehydrated blend of carrots and potatoes, hmm. just some different vegetables to get that um, fiber into the meals that those kids are really gonna need. All right, and the next? Next we have some soy nuggets. And soy is a great form of protein. We know that we need to build up those kids' muscles and get them strong and healthy quick and so that's why we add the soy and then finally looks like a little and rice yeah last is rice and that is a really well-known grain around the world and it's great um, just to build up the health of those children so now is it always kind of work like an assembly line each buddy each person has a bucket or a bowl and you kind of go yep. down the line it's a simple assembly line people come in they learn really quickly what they need to do and then they just pack away for about two hours now, you mentioned five years old is yep. kind of the age, age starting That's age, the I starting suppose. Age. Any other qualifications or anything else you need to know? Any experience involved? You don't have to have any experience. You can be um, all the way up, you know, through 200 years old. We have some sitting jobs for those people that don't want to stand for two hours. And mm, then we okay. have just really simple jobs for everyone else. All right. And so you don't need to have a big group or anything like that. I think in the past, everybody had to gather some people together. Yep. Now, um, you can sign up as an individual. And in our Coon Rapids site, which is our biggest site, you can sign up a group all the way up to 120. 20 volunteers. You know, as a parent, I was just thinking as I was going to do this interview, oh boy, I'd really like to get my seven-year-old involved. What yeah. do you think the children get out of this? I mean, obviously, we're helping children in right. other countries, but there's so much in it for those there who is. are volunteering. That's right. Yeah, what would you say the children or how they're benefiting? Um, I think that as they come in, we do a quick orientation and just set out some of the facts about hunger in different children around the world. And I think that that really connects with kids because they see faces that look like their friends or look the same age mm -hmm. as them. They learn that these kids um, they can't always go to school because they're too hungry and I think that that resonates because they can really have um, they've had the, those experiences of going to school and it's hard for them to imagine being in that situation and it is a pretty simple concept to understand when mm -hmm. you're talking about children and food so I imagine they do get a lot of out of it so thank you guys for being with us and packing up some of the stuff for us we appreciate it and for more information on feed my starving children or to register to pack some meals just go to fmsc.org backslash volunteer it truly is that easy Anna Guntless Bergen and all of our friends thanks everybody for being with us and good luck thank with you the volunteer uh, effort here all right it is time to head out back to the state fair with Miss Marina and our Sunday Labor Day forecast hey Marina Hey, Karen. Well, we are seeing a beautiful day out here, and I've got a big surprise for Tom and Karen.